I was trying to do something that hadn't been done before. That's it! Oh my god! I was god. trying to get a picture of a great white shark in Cape Cod, and that hadn't been done. We missed him. I was using these seal decoys. They're swimming. Doing aerial photography. We're using spotter pilots. This was just starting to stack up in a way that had me believing it might not ever happen. Since he said the water's very cloudy, number one, there's only one animal, so I mean, one's better than none. One, two, check, one, two, three. Recording that red light goes. Now to shut it off, just three. Isn't this a lot of fun? What we have happening in Cape Cod is quite unique. We have a, a newly forming hub of great white shark activity. The sharks are coming in to feed on gray seals. Seal populations there were wiped out in the 1600s. So because of that, you don't really see great white sharks there very often, an occasional one maybe. But the gray seal population has become robust um, in the last several years. The sharks here are truly wild. They are not the least bit interested or habituated to human beings. You can't get them near the boat. They just won't be attracted to the boat. They seem to be only interested in these seals. So to get a photograph in these very green, murky Cape Cod waters means you have to get close, and none of the traditional means would work. So my hope was by putting a camera inside a decoy, we could get a picture. Now we're putting on uh, my seal decoy that has a still camera in it with, um, worry about it after with video eyes so that I can see what's happening. And my hope was that a great white shark would swim up and smile for the camera, but not eat the decoy. And then I needed to be able to see in real time when the shark was approaching the decoy. Otherwise, I'd be just sort of shooting blind. We're using spotter pilots to find the sharks, but that's not good enough. Got a lot of expensive equipment on the boat. It's an octocopter. The advantage of this particular piece of equipment is it can lift a, a heavy camera. It looks rock solid. Right the there. idea is to get this thing out there, hover it over the top of the decoy, see the circling behavior, and then that moment of impact. And photographically, it'll be great, but we can also learn about the behavior that these sharks are, are demonstrating here. Sam, there he is. Oh, the white wow. sharks here in Cape Cod are doing things differently than they do elsewhere in the world. We've seen these whites oh, in yeah. very, very shallow water, you know, three to five feet of water. Oh, look at him, he's right Whoa. there! Being Holy. able to observe that from a low altitude bird's eye view is going to be really, really valuable. That's it. Yes! After many attempts at decoys and all these different things that I was trying. He's coming. Have a boat behind it. Nothing was working. And then finally, when this right size decoy. Whoa, dorsal's out of water. The right size housing inside and the wireless trigger and the video and all this kind of stuff came together. And I saw that shark just come right up to the tail of this thing. And I could see it. Oh, he's a player. Yeah, he is. He might bite it. Come back. There you go. Yeah. There you yes. go. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. 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 I mean, you just stared at that decoy for so long, and then all of a sudden, there's teeth and jaws just emerging from the water. I mean, I hope I got it. I hope I got it. But I mean, I was shooting fast. It was right in the frame. I could see it. I could see. I actually saw the red of the gums, you know, with, with teeth. Unbelievable. I mean, the beach was right there in the background, desolate. Couldn't be more than 12 feet of water. Let's go get the decoy and have yeah, a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, you got to collect your data. I just got the picture. That's all I care about. <laughs> Oh man, very cool, very, very cool.